I'm back in the kitchen with one of the most requested guests from last year. That's right, I am cooking with my son and teen chef, Britton Cohn. Welcome back to the Sammy Cohn Thank Show. Thank you. I have to tell us, we were actually in the clearance section of Walmart right after Christmas, and someone came up to me and said, excuse me, are you Sammy Cohn? And I said, yes. Yeah. She goes, oh, I love your show. And then she immediately turned to Britton and was like, I loved your recipe. And I never heard from her again. It was all Britton. So... Here you go. We know who you really tune in to see. So this is another recipe, his Asian, marinated Asian cucumber salad mm -hmm. that has been really requested because I share about it on lo a lot on social media because we eat it a lot. Right. Right. So you're going to show us how to do it really easy. So what are you doing right now? Yeah, so first I'm just cutting up the cucumber in a bite sized pieces Okay. because you want the cucumber easy to eat as like an appetizer, right. a little side thing to go along with your dish. And you cut it lengthwise, so right. that's important. And we mm -hmm. usually suggest an English cucumber because they're seedless. But if you don't have a seedless cucumber, you can stop at this juncture and take a spoon and um, just scoop out the center of it if you want to take your seeds out. So that's really easy. But if not, you can just go ahead and cut it the way that Britain is cutting it right now. Mm -hmm. So about in the force, and then you take the force and cut it into other bite-sized bite pieces. pieces. I'll let you do this one as well. Thank okay. you. So while you do that, I'm going to move this over with the clean hands here. Okay. So the important part is to get this cut up and then we're going to technically marinate it with kosher salt for theoretically, I mean, as long as you can. I'll be honest, the, one of the reasons I wanted to, to highlight this recipe now is because it sits really well in the fridge and it's a recipe that gets better the longer that it sits in the dressing we're going to make. We never let it sit. We pretty much finish it off the minute he makes it, is really what ends up happening. So here, let me just do it this way. This will be easier. So we put all of these in a bowl. And again, marinate it as long as you can with how much kosher salt would you say, dude? Um, heavily. So a good, a good amount, probably okay. about ta tablespoon-ish. Is that what, tablespoon-ish? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to let that sit there and just set it off to the side and this can be in the bowl that you're going to put the dressing in later. Right. And if there was extra, um, sometimes when you marinate something in salt, you'll get extra juice, so to speak, mm -hmm. but that you can just drain that off. Yeah. Okay. So you've put three. I've put two to three cloves of okay. garlic in a separate bowl. Okay. That you minced already. Right. And we're okay. going to add another teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And the sugar just helps balance the acidity. It's kind right. of gives you that umami flavor, right. which is Asian after all. Okay. What's next? And now we have rice vinegar that we're going to add two tablespoons okay. of. Okay. And you can get rice vinegar. Again, if it's really easy to get at any grocery store, obviously a world market or an Asian soup, you know, grocery store. Right. Okay. And we're just going to add a little bit of black pepper. Okay. If you don't have a grinder, just like about a pinch. Perfect. Would be good. Now we have two tablespoons of soy sauce. And if you are doing gluten-free this year, you can use tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce. And this is real, I mean, this isn't real complicated, right? Mm -hmm. this is, okay. Very simple. And then to finish it off, we have some sesame oil that yes. we're going to add about two teaspoons of. I love it. Toasted, get toasted sesame oil if you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just add a little bit of spice. We have yes. some sriracha. Yes, we do. And we're not super spicy people, but giving it that, that um, you know, just squirt of sriracha really helps give it a little kick that makes it really good. Yeah. Okay. So you're mixing that up? Yeah. If you don't want to dirty another dish, you can just use a teaspoon. teaspoon. And then here's where the magic happens. Voila. And that's really all that it is. So why don't you use that teaspoon just to, since we don't have a serving spoon here, mix it up. But this is, so this, we made this. Um, the salad yesterday, so it's been sitting for a day, and really, I mean, that's all that it is. You can see that it, the um, soy sauce and the sesame oil and the sriracha really come together. Um, this is actually two cucumbers because this does make quite a bit of dressing. Mm -hmm. This is great for fish as well. It's really a yeah. good accompaniment, but that's as easy as it is. And I think we just wanted to say, when you're meal planning, look for things that your kids and your family is already eating, and then just try to expand upon that. You don't have to just go with cucumber sticks and carrot sticks. Right. Make better choices, and you can still add some really healthy components to this. We got a rotisserie chicken from Costco yesterday. Mm -hmm. You have that for dinner. You make a chicken salad the next day. Have this with it. Yeah. Vegetables don't have to be boring. You can make them good. Vegetables don't have to be boring. You heard it here first. All right, we're going to have this full recipe on SammyCone.com. Britton Cone, thanks for joining it's me. It's always a pleasure. Okay, we'll see you soon in the kitchen.
KENCANG